Hi, I'm Tim Harford and I'm the author of the book How to Make the World Add Up. We've all heard the saying, lies, damned lies and statistics, and I'm afraid that nerds like me sometimes play into the idea that statistics are chiefly used for lying. After all, there's nothing more fun than explaining statistics by pointing to examples of them being used badly or dishonestly. Some of the best-selling books about statistics emphasise the downside, with titles such as Innumeracy or How to Lie with Statistics. But that kind of scepticism can so easily turn to cynicism. We start with take nobody's word for it and we're soon sneering nobody knows anything. The author of How to Lie with Statistics ended up working for Big Tobacco, trying to discredit the statistical evidence linking smoking with cancer. And the fact that that evidence was statistical, that life-saving discovery, it should be a reminder to us. Statistics aren't just a way to win a political argument. They're a vital tool. In my own work, I try to make the case that statistics are indispensable. They're like radar for air traffic control or a telescope for an astronomer. They show us truths that we can't see in any other way. We've seen in the course of this pandemic vast, almost heroic efforts to assemble the information that we need. Where's the virus spreading and how fast and why and who's most at risk? But that sort of effort takes place in a calmer, quieter way all the time as we try to understand the world around us. Health, development, the economy, the environment. We're quick to chuckle about how to lie with statistics, and yet we take them for granted. We assume that the numbers will always be there when we need them. But robust, honest statistics don't just appear by accident. They require effort and expense and expertise. And I, for one, I'm grateful.